Musk just announced another exciting update for SpaceX. The Focus, their colossal Starship rocket, one of Musk's visionary projects, is gearing up for its next big test flight. A notable development is the recent movement of Booster 9. This isn't just any component. It's the latest prototype of the Super Heavy, the powerful first stage that will lift Starship off the ground. SpaceX transported it to the launch pad located at their expansive Starbase facility in South Texas. And if you're wondering about the purpose of this movement, it's clear. Pre-flight testing, as mentioned in a SpaceX update on X, the platform once known as Twitter. But this giant booster won't be on the ground for long. Indications suggest that if Musk's plans align smoothly, the skies will witness the next Starship launch sooner than many anticipate. Adding fuel to this speculation, Musk himself responded to a post showcasing Booster 9 with a promising note. Next Starship launch soon. Starship represents a groundbreaking shift in spacecraft design, emphasizing full reusability across its two main components. The first component, Super Heavy, serves as the booster stage. Above the Super Heavy sits the second component, the Starship spacecraft itself. Measuring at an impressive 165 feet in height, this upper stage vessel is more than just a passenger carrier. It's envisioned to be versatile, capable of carrying both crew and cargo, potentially serving missions ranging from satellite deployments to interplanetary travel. When these two segments are combined for a launch, the entire structure stands at a staggering 394 feet. To provide a sense of scale, this makes Starship one of the tallest launch vehicles ever conceived, comparable to some of the world's tallest structures. Now you might be wondering, hey, didn't they already send Starship for a spin? You're right, they did. Back on April 20th, they gave it a shot, aiming to send the upper stage on a little jaunt around Earth before splashing down in the Pacific near Hawaii. But, well, it didn't quite go as planned. The two stages that were supposed to nicely separate got a bit clingy, and SpaceX had to hit the self-destruct button, ending the show just about four minutes after takeoff. But hey, that didn't stop them. Right after that explosive ending, SpaceX got back to the drawing board, tweaking things here and there. More than a thousand design tweaks later, they're back in the game. One big change is how they light up the engines. They're now trying out hot staging, which basically means igniting the upper stage's engines before it even takes a break from the booster. To make this hot staging thing work, they've had to install some extra gear on Booster 9. There's a vented inner stage and a heat shield to shield it from the fiery exhaust of its upper stage buddy called Ship 25. SpaceX even gave us a sneak peek with some cool photos they posted last week on X. This whole setup happened inside their assembly hangar at Starbase. They moved Booster 9 from its launch mount, where it previously nailed an engine test called Static Fire on August 6th. It's all part of the pre-launch checklist. Here's the scoop. While Musk's soon regarding the launch of Booster 9 and Ship 25 is certainly exciting, it's not a definitive timeline. Musk is renowned for setting ambitious goals, and sometimes the stars don't align as quickly as he'd prefer. There's a bit of red tape to cut through, too. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, hasn't given the green light for the upcoming Starship launch. Why? Well, they're still digging into the report that SpaceX submitted about the mishap from that April 20th flight. Oh, and just to add a little drama, there's a bunch of environmental and indigenous groups teaming up to sue the FAA. They're saying the agency didn't quite size up the impact that these Starship launches could have on South Texas and its surroundings. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time SpaceX and the FAA have been on different pages. Their relationship has had its bumps, mainly because of SpaceX's bold steps and the FAA's duty to keep things safe. For example, in December 2020, SpaceX launched their Starship SN8 without the green light from the FAA. This move caused the FAA to look deeper into what happened. Then, in January 2021, even though the FAA said no due to worries about safety, SpaceX went ahead with another test launch. Unfortunately, this test ended in an explosion, making things even rockier between SpaceX and the FAA. And this time, it's not just the FAA giving SpaceX a tough time. They've had problems with the U.S. Department of Justice, too. The Department of Justice has filed a lawsuit against SpaceX, claiming that the company discriminated against asylees and refugees in their hiring practices. 
This lawsuit, filed last Wednesday, alleges that from September 2018 to May 2022, SpaceX discouraged these individuals from applying by falsely stating that they could only hire U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents. The lawsuit further claims that SpaceX didn't give these asylees and refugees a fair chance and even turned them away when they did apply. They also assert that SpaceX wrongly used export control laws as an excuse to exclusively hire U.S. citizens and green card holders from September 2018 to September 2020. Interestingly, this issue has been on the Department of Justice's radar for a while. Back in May 2020, the department's Immigrant and Employee Rights section started investigating whether SpaceX was discriminating based on citizenship or immigration status. The department alleges that SpaceX didn't cooperate fully with the investigation, providing documents only after a year and a subpoena. In November 2022, they concluded its investigation, stating that it had found evidence of unfair immigration-related employment practices. The lawsuit cites Musk himself as a source of evidence. They refer to two videos where Musk talks about hiring restrictions. Additionally, Musk had posted on X, former Twitter, that U.S. law requires at least a green card to be hired at SpaceX, as rockets are considered advanced weapons technology. Kristen Clark, Assistant Attorney General of the Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division, emphasized that their investigation found SpaceX had discriminated against asylees and refugees and violated federal law. Despite this legal turbulence, SpaceX's rocket train keeps on rolling. In an exciting development later this year, SpaceX is preparing for its 29th commercial resupply services mission, sending a refrigerator-sized contraption named the Integrated Low Earth Orbit User Modem and Amplifier Terminal or Illuma-T to the International Space Station. The advantages of this laser communications over radio are numerous. Laser equipment is lighter and less power-hungry, making it more suitable for space missions. Moreover, lasers can transmit significantly more data at once due to their shorter wavelengths. Should this tech demonstration prove successful, it might pave the way for more orbital laser links. This might mean that one day astronauts will communicate by laser from much farther away than ever before. So amidst all the legal drama, SpaceX's cosmic ambitions continue to reach new heights. That's all for the video, folks. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest. Until next time, this is goodbye.